Hey everyone, today we're going to learn how to design the Automo Blocks axle using Fusion 360. Um, make sure you're in your Project 5.5a folder. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's come on up here. We're going to do a new design. And we're going to start a sketch here on the XY plane. All right, so when you're drawing a lot of complex 2D sketches, it's always a good idea to draw out a rectangle or some sort of use construction lines to help you scale the object. So I'm going to come on over here. I'm going to click on construction. I'm going to grab my two point rectangle and I'm going to drag out uh, a rectangle that's roughly, oh, and this is kind of a small feature. So it's 0.2 inches tab by 0.88 inches. Hit enter. And I'm going to zoom in here just so uh, you can see everything here better. And now I'm going to take it off construction line. Don't forget to do that. So for this part, it has a cylindrical shape. It's cylinder shaped like an axle or like the hollow part of a pin or pencil. So we want to use a 2D. We want to use what's called a revolve tool. And when you're using the revolve tool, you always want to sketch out the 2D profile. Imagine you could slice open the object and that exposed face is what you want to draw. So that's what we're going to draw now. We're going to draw the exposed face of the axle and then we're going to revolve it. So let's go ahead and get started. Come on over here to your line tool and somewhere, not the halfway mark, but somewhere a little past the halfway mark, we're going to start drawing out our 2D profile. Okay. So I'm just going to kind of Come over here, come over here, up, over, and then I'm going to draw all the way over to my construction line here, and then I'm going to go up, and then over. Let me hit escape now. If you make a mistake, just hit, hit, hit escape, come back over, because I realized I didn't draw the line here. So now I'm going to click there, click over. I'm going to come on up to the top of my construction line and then I'm going to come over. Then I'm going to come down. And then I'm going to kind of, whoop, I didn't make connect my lines. There we go. And then I'm going to kind of draw an, a line that's at an angle, something kind of like this. Okay. Right in here. And then I'm going to click and I'm going to come on up and then all the way over to the edge of my construction line here, click, come down, come over, come down. over and then down whoops and I went a little too far because that thing popped up well and that's okay but let's just do an edit undo okay and you know you you drew everything out correctly when it shows this highlighted here Okay, so you notice right when we connect our line, our loop was closed. So we have no gaps between our lines. Okay, so that's very important. All right, I'm going to take it out of the line mode now. So I'm going to add a couple geometric constraints next. I want to make this point right here. I know that it's vertical with this point, and that should make these vertical with one another. Okay, I also know that this point right here is horizontal with that point. Okay. So that should do it for our geometric constraints, at least for now. So I'm going to hit escape and notice when you drew it out, you have all these perpendicular constraints that you added 90 degree angles, right? So, and it added some other constraints for you as you drew them. Okay. So you may have to delete some of these geometric constraints to get, the desired 2D profile that you want seen here. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and use my sketch dimension tool and I'm going to go ahead now and start adding some dimensions. I know based on the assignment, 
this distance right here is 0.33. Okay, and I know this distance from here to here is 0 0.05. Now let's dimension from here to here. And that distance is 0 0.07 inches. And I'm going to dimension from here to here. And that distance is 0.19. And then I'm going to dimension from, let's see here, from here to here, and that distance is 0.25. So I want to bring up an important point. Sometimes when you're adding dimensions, it may tweak your drawing or throw off your drawing in a manner that looks completely incorrect and that's okay what you'll want to do is to go ahead then is do some edit undos maybe delete some dimensions or change the lengths of them for the time being and then go back and add the appropriate dimensions later okay so sometimes it's a guessing game and then you just got to work backwards in order to work forward and that's just how sometimes you know that's the nature of adding dimensions and getting everything um, the appropriate size so my next dimension I want to make is from here to here, and that should be 0 0.05. Okay, and then I'm going to basically click here and click on this point, and I want this to be 0 0.01. Okay, it's kind of tapered at an angle, at a very slight angle. Notice it's not perfectly horizontal or flat. It's sort of at an angle, and that's exactly how I want it. All right, now that I'm done with my horizontal dimensions, I'm going to go ahead now and start adding some of the vertical dimensions. Now, keep in mind the assignment gives you um, gives you diameters, so we need radiuses. So I'm going to take the the dimensions they give in the assignment and divide them by two. So I'm going to click here and click here, and that distance is going to be 0.3 divided by two. The radius, excuse me, the diameter divided by two to give us the radius. Okay, I'm going to click over here and over here, and that distance is 0.29 divided by 2. All right, and then um, this distance is going to be 0.25 divided by 2. Same thing here, this distance. 0.25 divided by 2 and then from this distance to this distance 0.19 divided by 2 and the same thing here 0.19 divided by 2 okay I'm gonna go ahead and hit escape now we have all the dimensions we need let's go ahead and finish our sketch I'm going to go ahead and select revolve and it's going to highlight the profile I want and then now it wants me to select the axis I want to revolve around and I'm going to select that guy right there and I'm going to hit OK. OK and there we go. OK you can see that little tapered line that we drew right there. OK now I'm going to start a sketch right here on this front face. OK I'm going to come up here to create and I'm going to get a rectangle. I'm going to get the center rectangle. And I'm going to start here and I'm just going to draw out something oh, like that. And then I'm going to dimension this. The diameter, or the, excuse me, the width of it here to be 0 0.04. Okay. And then I'm going to make the length of it long enough so that it covers the whole thing here just okay I'm gonna go ahead and finish my sketch I'm gonna extrude this guy whoop meant to click on the whole thing and we want to go the other way because we want to cut it a distance of 0 0.2 minus 0 0.2 
make sure it says cut and hit OK. All right, and basically now we want to always give our part a material. So I'm going to come on over here. Um, let's give it a glossy green. Close. That's the appearance. Let's give it a material now. And I'm going to give it ABS plastic. Okay, hit close. And there we go. And if you right click over here on document settings, under properties, you'll get all sorts of important data that you need for your part. Okay. All right. Don't forget to save when you're done. I hope you learned something. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.